Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool effect that you can have on photos and anything. You can have them on um, Twitter headers, they look really cool there. And yeah, so like pro player headers, avatars, all that kind of stuff, picture edits. Yeah, so I want to show you guys how to do this nice um, paintbrush kind of effect and, this, and add the motion blur to it as well. So yeah, let's get right into it. So what first off we're going to do, we're going to have a new layer. So it can be any colour background, it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it on white just so it's easier for you guys to see. And um, yeah, it's a new layer, nothing on it. And make sure our paintbrush is black. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use a series of these brushes. I've got these brushes from um, Sesso's brush pack, but obviously you don't have to use those ones. You can use any um, brushes that you just find on Google. And um, yeah, oh, don't, do not use that one. It's a bit too big and it's not really the, the style that we're going for. So if it could just remove itself, it looks like it's frozen. So let's actually... Why is it frozen? Okay, we're just gonna do just gonna delete that and pick a new brush. Okay, yeah, this one's good. Um so yeah, you just wanna click once, you can change the rotation if you like just by clicking the arrow and dragging up or just any rotation that you'd want to your brush to have. Let's do a down downward one now. Okay, that looks good. And now we're gonna change the brush. Uh we can use this one. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's just dot that a few times. Let's change the rotation. I probably wouldn't use the same brush more than twice at a time, otherwise you can just, you kind of notice that the same one's being reused and um, you don't really want that. Oh, here's a good brush, is it? But like, sometimes um, the thicker ones, they, they work the best because that's where you know where the picture's gonna be based. Because as you can see now, there's a, there's a big area for where the picture's gonna be and that looks good. So now let's just find just to finish it off, just to put some more dots around the edges. Maybe we'll use one more brush. Uh, we'll use this one, but we're going to change the rotation to the other side. Okay, that's starting to look really nice. Okay, so now we have this nice big black area in the middle where the um, where the photo is going to be showcased. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open our image. I've already got my image here. So let's just drag this in just by clicking and dragging. Make sure it covers the whole brush area. So you might need to make it a bit bigger, but uh, you shouldn't need to make it too much bigger. And all you need to do now, make sure that the picture is just above the layer that you just made with all those brushes. Just wanna right click and um, create clipping mask. And as you can see, it just goes straight into um, all the brushes and it looks really, really nice. And now what you wanna do is you wanna press um, Control T and then right click and flip horizontal just so it's facing the direction of where you want, where you place your effects. So as you can see, like it kind of splits out this end, so that's the way I want them to face. And yeah, so now we've done that, we're gonna have this really cool color effect to it. So to do that, all you need to do is make a new layer, uh, create the clipping mask, you can do that by pressing Alt and clicking the bottom of the layer, just so it's an easy way, or you can just do it the old school way, right click and press uh, create clipping mask. And now you just wanna get a regular brush, the regular default brush, just the soft brush here. Um, size doesn't really matter, but I recommend using this one. This this size is 407. Obviously, you don't have to use that one, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, for this, because I did that one green and blue, we'll do a nice red um, on this one. Okay, so just gonna go across the top and change the blending option to um, to screen. Yeah, that looks good, and we'll have a nice orange as our secondary color. Uh, let's so let's just change the color here. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna make another layer there. We don't wanna use the same layer because then it just makes it so much harder to edit if you want to after. And just go across it and uh, set the blending option to screen. And there we go, we have this really nice burn effect. I don't really know if it's called a burn effect. But, um, yeah, the colors kind of make it seem like a burn and it's kind of cool. Of course you can add color correction and stuff to it. Uh, to be honest, I probably prefer this color scheme. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Perhaps we'll just... We could just press Control U and just edit the colors a bit. Uh, let's go, yeah, kind of like a hot pink into a red. That looks nice. Okay, so now we have a really nice um, cool color scheme on here. We're going to use Topaz Labs to kind of give this clean effect to the um, to the picture. As you can see, this picture is quite it's it's quite detailed, which isn't bad for, for obviously the photographer is going to make their pictures detailed as possible. But we're going for that nice clean effect. So what we're going to do is. We can use our plugin called Topaz Labs. Obviously, you might not have this, so this step isn't really crucial for you. But uh, if you want your, if you're going for that clean effect, then yeah, this effect would help a lot. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to just find a nice, um, a nice, well, a nice cartoon effect. So we're going to use this cartoon one. And we're just going to set the strength right down to about one. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll just set that to OK. And there we go. That looks really clean now. And now what we're going to do is, we've got this nice version. We could use that, but if you want to take it a step further, or if you're going to go for a different effect, you can have this this motion blur to it. And um, to, all you need to do is to do that is click on the paintbrush layer that we made earlier, uh, which has all the clipping stuff on, and just go to filter, blur, motion blur. And that's literally it. And it gives off this really, really nice effect. It looks really good. I quite like it. I haven't seen anyone do this before in their headers. So yeah, so it's, it's a nice origi original effect for you guys. If you did enjoy this tutorial, if you found it helpful, leave a like. And um, yeah, if you want to suggest a tutorial, just leave a comment. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in a new video.